Sam Lippman Stern was just a teenager when he started working as a telemarketer for Civic Development Group, where he and his colleagues believed that they were raising money for firefighter and police charities to help families of the fallen. But that wasn't exactly true. He and a co-worker's quest for the truth is now an HBO docuseries, Telemarketers. Take a look. Regulating telemarketing is like regulating Somalia pirates. It just can't be done. You're like a whistleblower. They don't want us here, bro. Dude, let's just go, Sam. There's no turning back. Joining us now is Sam Lipman Stern. Sam, Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, Appreciate it. You worked along certainly a, an eclectic group of people, I think it's fair to say. Tell us what that work environment was like. So I started working at Civic Development Group when I was 14. I had just left the ninth grade, so I dropped out of high school. And my parents said, if you're going to leave school, you got to get a job. Mm -hmm. So I tried applying at Burger King, McDonald's, and they said I was too young. So a buddy of mine who was 15 told me about CDG, Civic Development Group, and uh, he brought me over there. I read the script, and I got hired right away out of the job. So the, so the job environment, it was a couple teenagers, and then you had a lot of people with, with criminal histories. So you'd have like a bank robber sitting to your right, mm. a drug kingpin on your left-hand side. Um, but it was, for, it was a job that people could work who couldn't get a job mm -hmm. in other places. And it was kind of like a dysfunctional, chaotic family environment. And, and you say that you were given a script to say when you made those calls, what would a typical call sound like? Yeah, so it'd be like, Hello, uh, this is Sam Lipman Stern calling on behalf of the Police Heroes Association. Good afternoon. Um, we're doing a big fun drive for the summer. Uh, donations help support the families of fallen officers killed in the line of duty. Donation levels are gold at 55, smaller silver at 35, and we're going to send you out a Heroes Police sticker. You put it on the back of your car. It'll show all the officers out there your proud support. So you're making these calls, and you don't then know what happens once you get a sale. That kind of gets passed along. At what point did you start getting suspicious? So I first started getting suspicious when we started seeing some of the charities that we were calling on behalf of on, on the news for getting mm -hmm. being like a scam charity. So we would call on behalf of police, uh, firefighters, veterans, and cancer charities. And I remember one of the veterans charities that we were calling on behalf of got called out on the news as being like a self-serving kind of scam, bogus charity. Then I started look, going down the rabbit hole when I saw that one veterans charity that got kind of taken down, essentially. And so that's when you were suspicious, but at what point did you decide, you know, I'm gonna investigate this? Well, originally, originally, we were just filming the office shenanigans. So you had all kinds of crazy stuff happening in that office. People can watch it. Um, we just started filming it and putting it up on YouTube, basically. And, uh, you know, but at some point, um, uh, uh, Patrick J. Pespis, who's the co-star of this, uh, he said, he really said, why don't we, let's not film the shenanigans, let's, let's turn this into some kind of an investigation. Mm. And then it just went from there. And the more we dug, the more layers of the onion just kept peeling and it got weirder and weirder and crazier. So in 1996, 2020 did a report, ultimately the company pays a $35,000 fine. Do you feel that's enough? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think, I think um, you know, the company ended up getting shut down in, in 2010 in the what was at the time the biggest consumer protection lawsuit in U.S. history for frauding donors. What they were doing is they thought what they thought was a legal loophole. They essentially started telling people that 100 percent of their donation was going directly to the organization. So and how they did that was they essentially changed. They made it so that the callers were employees of the charity. And this was done by the, the major, one of basically the biggest police organization in the United States, as well as other charities. Sam Lippman Stern, so fascinating, really, what you've done here and turning this all into uh, this docu-series. Want to let our viewers know the first episode of Telemarketers is available to stream now on Max. The series continues this upcoming Sunday on HBO and then will be streaming on Max. <laughs>
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.